Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's got to be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. That's Sandro, the executive chef. All right, let's see what they got. Yep, Hello. how you doing? Leave the gun and take the martini. Take the martini, yeah. Huh? How about if I want a cannoli, then what do we get? I'll do? take a cannoli, too. Come on in. Woo. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Lindsay, my pleasure. So this is the QR. You'll have to scan it with your phone. All the menus there. I definitely recommend trying meatballs here. Each meatball is only half a pound. Half a pound meatball? Yep. One yeah. Yeah, wow. one meatball. So you get two in an appetizer. A half a pound meatball. It's like a meatloaf. You want to get a drink? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would love a drink. OK, what would you like? Can I get an old fashioned? What do you recommend? I'll take whatever. I love Chianti. You have a, yeah, I'll try that. How do you make a meatball that big and keep it juicy? Uh, it's a pound. It's a, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, they're normally like two ounces. But... Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Jason, I'd love for you to order some pasta. And when you order it, ask if it's homemade. Copy. Because they Copy. say the pasta is homemade, but I don't believe it is. The pasta is all, is the parpadelli housemade too? Yeah. The special? Mm hmm Sold. Yeah. And the Caesar. OK. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. So Nico is just standing there, doing nothing. He's not engaged in anything. I mean, everybody's just standing there looking around. Yeah. Those are giant balls. Yeah, they are. Holy moly. Do you think a half pound meatball is something that the average person would buy when they're also eating dinner? Or do you think it's a dinner killer? Oh, man. My knife. It's, so <laughs> this is what they build this whole thing on. I mean, it's just, it's really dense. We already cut into it, but a little rubbery. Yeah, it's, it's dry, too. Like, look at the right. two of them watching. So, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's like watching the Titanic sink. Because of the salad, it's like legit brown. What's wrong with it? I think that lettuce has seen better days. Is there paprika or something in, in this dressing? What's the, like, the, the brown tinge? You see the color, right? It's a little brown? I'm How just trying to brown? figure out. All I was saying is, like, I was saying, if there's a spice in it that's making it discolored, then that's the answer. But I'm, I, no, but I, I get you. But to be honest, I don't know every ingredient. No, in, I know. In, in but, this, but in this secret, I'm, I'm, it's a freaking disaster. This yeah, is, this is a Nico Caesar. We've been selling this for close to 20 right, but years. It, but it still looks yeah. like shit. I just asked a simple question: Is there spice in this? And nobody I answered me. Yeah, but what kind of attitude is that? What, what, what attitude should I take? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're, sir. I'm sorry, you know your what? highness. Is Nico going to deck him? <laughs> he might. He might deck him. <laughs> My name is on you should be passionate. My name I is get it. I get it. I get it. I get okay. it. You know. So I defend it. I've seen everything I need to see. I'm going to go in there before Jason and the owner kill each other. Can we have our bill, please? Absolutely. Nico. Yeah. I love your scissor salad. Anyway, oh, so you, I defend. Honey. I defend Nico. I defend what we have. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? We got to meet last night. Yes. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but uh, Both feet, maybe. look, I just want to tell you, I'm here to help. You made a lot of comments to me about, it's been 20 years. We've been doing this for 20 years. I have five restaurants. They're, they're very, very successful, even during COVID, because we pivot, we change, we, we adapt, you know? All right, so last night, had your meatballs. The biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. That was the biggest beef ball I've ever had. So I made my own version of it. We're known for our homemade meatballs. We've had these for 20 years. People love them. We probably sell 100, 100 to 150 meatballs a day. We're going to make this amazing sandwich. So I took a beautiful baguette, garlic butter, smeared it, toasted it in the pan. We want to have that little crunch and texture. Meatballs, simple marinara, burrata. What I did is I whipped it. So I pureed the crap out of it. So it's almost like ricotta, but way better than ricotta. You know, everybody's had a meatball sub Prevolone, Parmesan on the broiler. Those days are over. We're trying to get a little bit more upscale. So homemade pesto, and then the Parmesan chip. So we just take that, we top our meatball, just have some pickled peppers right here on the rim, and it's as simple as it gets. All right, and you try it. No, you right. try it. Lots of flavor, highly seasoned, delicious. 
Really known. Shove. Have a look. Yeah, it's good. So they're looking at the menu. It looks like they're about to order here. Yeah. Nuggets. You'll want to take this receipt to the window. To the window? What window? She just told them, here's your trick. Go pick up your own food when it's ready. Like this is a drive through Let me go walk and get this food. I guess, look, whatever you want. There's two waitresses there, but they're not going to serve the food to them. What we're looking at is a completely unmanaged business. All right. I can't believe it. Styrofoam container inside a club where they had a stack of plates that they could have served them properly on. This don't make any sense. This right here doesn't happen. A nightclub, guys. This is a nightclub. Are you serious? Did you ask for it to go? Did you ask no, for it to go? No, I here? told him that we wanted it here. Oh, uh, Chef, I'm going to lose it. It's, it's, it's blowing my mind. I want to know who the hell made that decision. I'm guessing it's the owner. Where is Shelton? I haven't seen him in a very long time. Holy Right, this is a lot of fried food. Like, she just got one to share. I'm not trying to gain weight while eating my meal. I just want to have a little snack and then go back to party. Before tonight's stress test, Chef Aaron assesses the cooks on their current menu. Dude, I want to tell you, you guys got a real solid product. But one of your major problems is, is these are big portions. The food cost is probably like a 40, 45 percent. You want to bring it down to maybe a 30, 27 percent. We give them the clientele too much food, and also it really doesn't allow you to eat and go back to dancing. It makes you want to eat and go to sleep. We're going to order some food, too, I think. All right. I'll take a cheesesteak. I'm just going to do some cheese pizza. All right. Light cheese ready. ready. Oh. Oh, oh my god. How are we supposed to eat this thing? <laughs> you said it's the best pizza on South Street. My dad. Is that the best pizza on South Street? No. So he just put that sign up there. It's on the road of the best. It's allegedly the best pizza on South Street. Right. It doesn't smell right. Like, something's got an off smell. Really no, good no, pizza no. usually has nice air pockets and bubbles in it. This is like dense and flat looking. Like, it's got a funky taste to it. Not too appetizing. Do you eat the pizza a lot? Do you like it? You don't? No. I think I'm going to wait on my cheesesteak. So we can conclude this is not the best pizza on South Street. One thing I noticed about the pizza yesterday is that it was very soggy, and the dough was undercooked. This is like dense and flat looking. The dough that you guys were using, there was a lot of grams, and you guys are making a very big pizza. So what we're going to do is cut down the amount of grams, and we're going to make the pizzas a little bit smaller. So we'll take the pizza dough and open it up. Now you can see this dough is nice. It has some nice air to it. OK? It's very delicate. When you smack it, you end up with a very dense piece of pizza. Bring this sauce over here. Not too much sauce. We want the ratios to be proper. Pizza in the oven. And look, it fits perfectly on it. So now we have great pizza, we have good profit margins, and we have proper ratios. And that's really what we're looking for here. Very good. Not bad, right? Anything you're interested in? I'm going to try the pastrami burger. Just a regular third pound. That's Lorenzo, one of our cooks. Hey, can you jump back here? Ten what? cheeseburgers to go, no fries, just burgers. Really? Why are they ordering ten burgers right now? Ten cheeseburgers. I'll try to get half a cigarette in, man. Biggers. Scott's having a smoke. Hey, Scott, would you help me? I'm busy. Scott proved himself to be, at moments, personally undisciplined. Fair? Very fair. Is he disciplined in his business? No. Is coming. Yeah. Soon, right? Yeah, I know. She's not wanting me to talk. At all. <laughs> she just wants you to shut up. She's like, I'm done. Persistent. How much of a wait time do we have? The three that are up right now are completely just. So, is our food coming? Is it? Is it going to come? Like, you know, just being that. That's where I'm. I'm already over it. If that's the attitude of your manager. You're screwed. Oh, pastrami my burger. Goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. I might have to go sit outside for an hour. So now all this food came out. Scott's having a smoke. I'd be curious to look in my customers' faces and see if they like the food, wouldn't you? Oh my god, it fell out. Oh shoot. You can't eat it. How are you supposed to eat? Oh, yeah. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it's really it's messy. That is a really cheap frozen hamburger patty. Not very good hamburger, is it? Did you guys want to order any food? What are you guys known for? Our Philly cheesesteaks are really good, and those are actually five dollars tonight. Yeah, cheese I'm gonna steak. do the Philly. Okay. And let me do the the chicken sandwich fried. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, sweet. Like, really sweet. Like a jolly bacon. Yeah, that's not very good. Chicken salad and fries, fine, I'll fill it. So that's Bob. He's your cook. Look at the color of that towel. Oh, my god. It's gray. There's a pile to the right. Oh, let me go get another dirty towel for my dirty towel stack. You see that? Ah. Oh, I don't have one. I have 100 of them. This is disgusting. OK, that looks like a piece of steak. Is it? Is that what that is? That I don't know what that is. Oh, my god, it looks yeah. like a brain. It looks like a brain. It you know, does. I'm, you guys know what that is? What is that? That's frozen Philly meat that he's beating the shit out of. To thaw it on the grill. So he sliced it from something. It's still raw. His griddle is not hot enough, by the way. Basically, you're just steaming steam. It's gray. It's not, it's not browning. No, you want Maillard. Maillard is the caramelization that comes yep. from the meats, right? He didn't clean the meat. He didn't take the sinew off the outside. And he just, there's, that guy doesn't give a <laughs> That's a big old model of I don't care what I'm doing. Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's got to be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. Oh, my god. <laughs> I... Everybody looks at it like, how am I going to eat this? You might need to just like chop it in half. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's... You're losing your ass on that chicken sandwich. I don't know. Yep. That needs to be a $25 sandwich. Dude, I can't, I can't even get into this thing. You can't even cut it. She's holding it for him. It's taking two of them, and they still can't cut the damn sandwich. I've never seen this in my life. It doesn't look that great. The chicken sandwich came out super large, almost unmanageable. It just doesn't translate well for good bar food. So I immediately sent it back. Oh, look at that. This is really oh. greasy. Or that's like super, super greasy. OK. Um, they said this is really greasy and gross. So I don't know if you want to talk to them about it. I'm going to take this. going to talk to them? I don't know. No way I'm not getting sick on that. How's it going? Don't be a dick. We just sent some food back to the kitchen. The chicken sandwich not really cooked all the way through. The cheesesteak, super greasy. Don't be a dick. What just do you want? Do you want a refund on it? Or... Yeah, that would, be, um, that would be great, yeah. All right, can you just refund them on that, Susan? Wow, not even an I'm sorry. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.